Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Yang. Today's lesson is how to customize your own zoom setting for your auto tracking camera. So why do we need to customize your own zoom settings for your auto tracking camera? It's because when sometimes a lot of people will run into some issues that when they're wearing our AM600 positioner and they're moving towards the camera or moving backward away from the camera, sometimes the focus on the auto tracking camera it just doesn't that precise. And the final outcome of it, it just, uh, it just doesn't look pleasant. So in this situation, you need to customize your own zoom setting for your auto tracking camera. So the first thing you need to do is please go to our Eric website and go to support and tools. And scroll down, here's the configuration tool for Eric auto tracking camera. And here's download link for the software, both for Windows and for Mac and please download it and install accordingly. And after the installation complete, you need to connect, before you open it up, you need to connect your camera and your P PC correctly. So whenever the camera and PC connect correctly, please open the tracking configuration tool and just click connect. And before, here's one more thing you need to double check is before you see the setting, you need to double check on the device version. Make sure it's 3.2.0.10. If it's not, please contact our FAE or customer service for the latest device version. And so now everything is set so we could see the settings. Okay, so as you can see right now, here's a lot of settings you could do. But today, we are focusing on zoom offset right here. So for now, it shows zero. So you click it, and it will show zero, one, two, and custom. So for zero and one and two is the factory default setting for our auto tracking camera. So we provide three different zoom settings in the camera to our customer. So you could also choose one of these, but uh, for today, we are going to customize one. So just click custom, okay? And whenever you click custom, the bar below right here will turn into blue and could be adjustable. So for the bar number one is, whenever the camera detect the AM600 is really close up, where do you want the camera to be focused, to be positioned. So number one is for close up. Number two is for far away. And if you drag to the left, the camera will be zoomed out to give a wider view. And when you drag to the right, the camera will be zoomed in. As you can see on the monitor, we are doing right now. And also there's one remem reminder is whenever you do this setting right now, please connect to the monitor which you can see the image from the camera. Okay, so right, drag to the right is zoom in, drag to the left is zoom out. So first, let's start to do the setting on the bar number one, which is when the AM600 is really close up. So we drag to the left because the 600 will be really close up to the camera, so you need to give a wider view for the lecture. So we drag to the life, and you can, when you drag in it, you can see your monitor, the image from the camera to, to position the correct image which you are desired, okay? Okay, so for the bar number one, okay, this is the final position I want my cam camera goes when the AM600 is really close up, okay? So now we are proceed the next step to the bar number two it's, it means when the AM600 is really far away so we drag to the left uh, I mean we drag to the right okay so the camera will zoom in okay okay so now this is where I want my camera goes when the camera uh, AM600 is really far away and I decided this is a final position for my camera and I just simply click apply. Here it shows apply success. Okay, so right now 
uh, let me demonstrate how it really looks like and how it really functions. So, as you can see right now, the AM600 is really close up to the to the camera, so the camera will zoom out to the the point which I've just been saved. Okay. Okay. And right now the M600 is going far away. So the camera will stop zooming in to the position I just uh, adjust at the bar number two. Okay. So this is what it really looks like and uh, for the different application you could use for different environment. And also if you have any further question or concern, please feel free to contact us or contact our FAE for further assistance. Thank you for your listening.